to receive any more punishment as Janibek Alimhanala is the unified middleweight champion of the world, taking the IBF belt from Vincenzo Gualtieri. Listen, and they say, like, okay, let me mute this. No this guy didn't come to fight. <laughs> That guy, um, that guy, uh, Vincento, uh, uh, Vincenzo Gutierrez didn't come to fight. No replay value in this uh, fight. Uh, Janabek Alim Hanala is now the WBO and IBF unified champion of the world in a, I'm gonna go say it, it's a uh, stagnant weak division right now and the future for 160 is not looking very bright uh i mean yeah you got tim zoo possibly moving up he's going to be fighting soon um in the next uh uh 20 minutes or so against a brian mendoza uh defending his wbo title he's announced earlier this week he's going to be moving up to 160 and i'm saying that because right now um Ali Mahanala has no real rival in the division, especially when you look at, by the way, here's the stoppage. Especially when you look at where Jamal Charlo is, who's supposed to be taking on uh, Jose Benavidez Jr. on the undercard of David Benavidez versus Demetrius Andrade, November the uh 25th but jamal charlo is flirting with 168 pounds god knows how long he's going to be at 160. uh it was lady is supposed to be taking on danny garcia in a long agreed fight at 155 pounds but it was lindy lara let's face it he hasn't done shit since he uh lost to canelo in 2014. okay the brian castaño uh fight has aged well uh the jared hurd fight okay that was a good fight even though he lost, but overall, like, who is it in the division? Like, a fight that gets you excited. When it comes to I me, mean, he now has two belts. So, he, he's not going to get Charlo, okay? He's not going to get Iris Lindy Lara or Danny Garcia. So, we're going to look at the rankings. Um, his English has been getting slightly better. The, uh, because, uh, Kazakhstanian, is it what you is it what you say they are? Kazakhstanians? I thought about uh earlier this week identifying as being uh Kazakh style, but then I changed my mind. I didn't do enough research. You know, in this 2023, you can identify. But no, he's good. He's good. You know, he's got he's got a skill set. He's got a skill set. By the way, I'm not high on uh Keyshawn Davis. I'm just not seeing anything special. Uh he got a controversial win. Meaning the cards were bad. He won clearly, but the cards were uh bad. Um, one judge scored a 95-95. But let's go look at the 160 pounds of vision so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, it's late here. I've been fucking covering boxing. 12 hours now since noon. It's 12.08 Eastern Standard Time. October the 15th, Sunday morning. Um, They need to get better with these main event times, man. I understand with ESPN, the college football, and they want all the eyes and the channel fully dedicated to boxing, but these late main events be no joke. But anyway, let's go look at the uh, 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 rankings. Uh, and by the way, if Jamal Charlo beats uh, Jose Benavidez, he's got to fight Carlos Adamas. I mean, as I said, look, oh, and by the way, Chris Eubank Jr. has no plans to fight uh, uh, Ali Mahanala. There was a WBO convention about rankings a few days ago, and basically his team is planning for something else. He has no interest in Ali Mahalana right now, even though top rank would love to fight. So when you look at it, it's like, my gosh, look at like look, look at look at just the top 15 of the IBF and the WBO, where now Ali Mahalala is champion. Look at the top five. Do you know any of these men? And by the way, I'm tired of them calling him a boogeyman. He's not no boogeyman. People don't want to fight him because they don't know who he is. He don't bring in no money. You know, there's no disrespect to Ali Mahanala, but he's not a boogeyman. I'm fed up. With the politics, look, this is the politics over here. This is this side of the street. And then this, this is this side of the street. Now, when you think about fighters that can move up to 160, okay, Jamel Charlo, but he ain't going to fight Ali Mahalala. 
You know, I mean, come on, like, you know, right now, like, who do you see moving up that can, like, really shake up the division? You know, I'm sorry, I don't see it being Jamel. I think Jamel's on his way out. After Zoo, he might be done. And after Tim Zhu moves up in the next year, Xander Zayas is the next, you know, like the guy, in my opinion, is going to be there. We don't know what the hell Spence is doing at 154, but let's stay at 160. The point I'm trying to make is there's, there, there ain't nothing here for Ali Mahanallah. You know, and he go up to 168, what is he going to run into? More politics. Canelo ain't going to fight him. Benavidez ain't going to fight him. Caleb Plant ain't going to fight him. It's not that they don't want to. By the way, Mungi is now ranked at 168. I want to hear what he has to say because I, I'm, I'm really interested in what the plan is going to be for Ali Mahalala. But he's good. You know what I mean? You know, but then again, it all depends on the level of competition, right? You got to match him up with the level of competition. And this guy right here ain't come to fight. This German, Gutierrez. Put poor old rest in peace, Paulie Walnuts to shame. By the way, rest in peace, Tony Sirico. <clears throat> so he won this belt from uh, Esquiva Falco and what was considered an upset when he outboxed him. But in this case, he did not want to get countered. You can clearly see that he felt something earlier on in the fight. He was like, he didn't want to get countered. And eventually that's what happened. You know, he got, you know, he didn't really get beat up because he didn't throw enough punches to get beat up. I believe after round five, he had only landed like 15 punches or some more bullshit like that. Let's turn it up. Listen to the uh, particulars. Seconds. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I'm Teach Street Controversy with 5 3 6 Technical knockout. And now the WBO and IBF middleweight champion of the world. Johnny Big Kazakhstan. One twenty-five of round number six. That is the moment that Janibek Alimhanala will remember forever. The day he became the unified champion following in the... I remember I used to see him in the rankings like years ago, three, four, five years ago. And I used to be like, Alim Kanuli, how do you pronounce his name? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Pause it if you have to. ...of his fellow... He landed... The love All right. Minute. Why was this fight made to look so easy and total... Dude, dude, do you see this? He landed 22 punches in the whole fight. So now Vincenzo Gutierrez is on my shit list along with Tommy Fury and Dylan Dennis and the Salt Poppy. Total tower, in total punches, it was a 34% to 26% advantage. 85 compared to 243. So, Janabek landed three less punches than Vincenzo Gualtieri threw overall, and 59% of Janabek's power punches landed compared to 34 overall for Vincenzo Gualtieri. The unified champion is standing by with Mark Kriegel. Janabek, was that what you envisioned? Yeah. Uh... Assalamu alaikum başlangıza, hürmet çankörler. Ya, bu bizim boks, bu Kazak style. Biz osunday stilde tarihte kaldırımız geledi. This is my style of fighting. This is a Kazakh style. This is what I'm going to be continuing doing. It. This is a, a violent style. I don't know if it was knockout of the year, but it was pretty good. He didn't mount much of an attack back. Were you surprised at that? Uh, we knew from the beginning where he's not going to fight back to me. Uh, we knew about that. And uh, he was waiting because he was thinking I'm going to get tired. But I, I, not, I didn't get tired. <laughs> you, did, you did not get tired. Where do you go from here? You have two belts. Best fighter in the division as far as I'm concerned. Where do you go from here? 
Biz olsun iki yönün tağda bir iki yönün cinasak diyemiz. Biz dört titulda koskumuz gelip erine. Yeger mümkündük bu vatsa, mümkündük bu vatsa top renk olsun. Jack be Jack terdo in basta perse. I don't know the fuzzy stuff about. Biz daim biz. Uh, what we would like to do, we would like to add another two belts to this collection. And uh, we hope our promoter, Top Rank, can organize that. You got a plan for that, Agus? I'm going to walk over and see Gualtier, but I, I know you're a crafty guy. You got a plan yes, for that? I do. Okay. <laughs> Does he? Vincenzo. Man, I don't hear from him. You're a brave guy to come over here and stand for that beating. Was he what you thought he would be? Uh, first of all, congratulations to uh, Yanni Beck. He was, he was the, the better today. But I think it was a little bit early. Oh shit, I didn't know that was still up there. I didn't know that was still up there, my bad. But sure, he was better today. Congratulations and uh, thanks for all the people that come for me for the I was fight. looking at this. Thank you. Thank you. Let me ask, describe his power. What was his power like? Um, he had really, I don't know, in German we said he had a dry punch. He had, he had a good punch, a, a hard punch. Uh, we see that, we see that in my face. But yeah, yeah. but uh, I think it was a little bit early. Sure, I, I make to, to um, it's what, a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, I think a little bit early, but he won and uh, I have respect from him and uh, congratulations. Anybody who comes across the world for something like that, congratulations to you too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fellas, back to you. So let me go ahead and say, um, I don't see uh, Jamal Charlo happening. Let's see how Jamal Charlo looks against uh, Jose Benavidez, who's a smaller fighter, by the way, at 147 pounder, before I go ahead and um, uh, give my prediction on who would win between uh, Alim Hanala and uh, uh, Maul Charlo. But because of the way Laura's been looking the last couple of years, I would pick Laura to win against, uh, I mean, I would pick uh, Alim Hanala to, Freudian slip, I would pick, I mean, Alim Hanala to beat um, uh, Iris Lindy Lara. So I can see him capturing three belts, but how are they going to get their hands on them belts? Clemens says he has a plan, but, you know, will he send his fighters over to PBC? I haven't seen a PB, I haven't seen a Clemens fighter on a main card fight a PBC fighter since Zara Glaskov and, and the Prince Charles Martin for the IBF title. When Charles and Zara, Zara Glaskov blew his, I don't know if it was his ankle or his knee. Um, but thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I want to get to this uh, main event here for this uh, Sam Goodman, uh, Miguel Flores fight. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.